do you want to tell them what happened? So basically, right? I feel oh. it. Can you? <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's so cute here. It would look nice at night, right? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the Cardiff vlog. It is a Monday. I've just woken up. Shuffa stayed the night. She's getting ready in another room. Um, but if you didn't watch the pack with me vlog, which you should, I'll leave it over here. Shuffa's best friend is getting married in Cardiff. So we're going to take a train there today. We're going to roam around Cardiff for a bit, check into our hotel, get ready for the wedding go to the wedding, stay the night, we're gonna go around Cardiff again and then come home. I am putting on some makeup, I'm gonna do some light glowy makeup and I really wanted to show you guys my routine because a few of you have been asking and I have quite dry skin so it's really hard to make my makeup look glowy in the winter so I've like cultivated the perfect products and I really want to share my routine with you guys. I spent a really long time looking for the perfect concealer foundation and like powder combination. And obviously it can be a tiny bit pricey. You know when all your products run out at the same time and you have to buy them all over again. But I actually never buy my makeup full price. Like I never do it, especially if it's like the higher end makeup. I always wait till there's a sale. So I'm going to tell you about something I use to make sure I never miss a sale. And that brings me into today's sponsor. Today's vlog is kindly sponsored by Karma. So Karma is an all-in-one shopping assistant and it helps you automatically save money and time on all of your purchases. I've been using this and working with them for years now. It's saved me so much money. You can save all the items you're looking at all into one place. I mean clothes, makeup, jewelry, gadgets. So when you're rebuying your Holy Grail products, it can be quite pricey. Like I said, this foundation is originally like £35 and I got an email to notify me when a ASOS had a 30% price reduction on this foundation so I ended up getting it for like £24.50 which is great. I'm just going to show you quickly how to use Karma. So using Google Chrome you can download Karma as a Chrome extension. You can visit your favourite stores, here I am on ASOS. And saving this item to Karma, I'm just filling in the specific details. It asks you when you want to be notified, so you can be notified when there's any price reduction, 50% off or 25% off, and then you can put it into a specific list. I'll get a notification via email or mobile push when my item is on sale, there's a relevant coupon or it's come back into stock. I'm going back to my Karma homepage. Here you can see the item has popped up. You can also plan your shopping by organizing it into multiple wish lists. So as you can see here, I've got a clothes, makeup and jewelry list. Let's look at my makeup list. Probably my favorite thing about Karma is that it scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. So here I am on Naked and Karma is just scanning if there's any possible coupon codes. Here you go, it did find some and I got a noticeable price reduction which is amazing. Also when you shop at select retail partners, Karma gives you cash back to you and to a good cause. So that is just a little tutorial on how to use Karma and all the benefits that come with using it. You can get Karma's free Chrome extension through my link which will be in the description box. I'm just really happy to be partnering with them again. Let's get on to my makeup because I need to be at train station. The first thing that I prioritize in the winter is my base. Now I know you're probably wondering why are you wearing sunscreen in the winter? I read that you should be wearing sunscreen all year round, no matter what. All time favorite is the La Roche-Posay Ultra Protection Sunscreen, and this is a hydrating cream, so it's for dry skin. They have a lot of versions of this. It doesn't leave like a white cast, it doesn't feel sticky, and it just feels like a moisturizer. Also, I found that with other sunscreens I used, my makeup did not sit well with it. When I tell you my skin is dry, instead of using cream, I use oil. It's the Dr. Organic Vitamin E Pure Oil. This is very inexpensive. I found that a lot of hydrating products for your skin, whether that be cream or oils, can be very pricey. Um, I get this off Amazon, or you can get it from Holland and Barrett, and I just rub that into my skin, and it feels so good. 
You know when you can feel your skin like drinking up the moisture. Next I go in with the NARS Pot Concealer in the colour Ginger. This is amazing. If I could use one product for the rest of my life it would be this NARS Pot Concealer. I go in with a MAC 270S brush. It's very fluffy and dense so it picks up a lot of concealer. Um, this is darker than my actual skin color but it's perfect for my under eyes. Kind of use it as a corrector. I dab that all under my eyes and anywhere else because there's a lot of product on the brush so I'll use it like around my face area as well. Just use any brow gel to brush your brows up. I was using hair gel at one point so it really doesn't matter. I'm letting my concealer sit by the way, I don't blend it in straight away. Then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Sculpting Concealer in Golden Beige and get a flat top brush and I just carve my eyebrows. I haven't put any product on my eyebrows yet because I want to go for like the natural look. So those are all filled in now. I know a lot of people skip that step but for me it makes my brows pop and I would never miss that step. If I want to now and I feel like they look a bit uneven I will go in with my Revolution Brow Pomade which I've had for nearly two years now. It does not run out and I just use um, an angled brush to do it. Then going back in with my Too Faced Concealer I put this all over my lids. I put a dot right here and here because like I said, the concealer I used underneath is darker, um, so it's more of a corrector. And now this is like a brightener, if that makes sense. Again, because I want to highlight these parts of my face. And then the tip of my nose and a tiny bit on my chin. I go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Rattan. I use a tiny bit of this because it is full coverage. And at this point, the only parts of my face that need foundation are my cheeks and then a bit on my forehead. I've blended that all out. Then I go in with this powder. Guys, I love this powder. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I have it in the shade 2 medium. I use a Morphe brush, the Morphe M450 brush. I love this. It's just a little dense powder brush and it's really good for under your eyes. Most of it goes under my eyes because um, that's the part that creases first. I don't normally put it on my eyelids but I'm not doing eyeshadow today. My next step is bronzer. I was debating showing you guys this bronzer because because of this. Revolution, it's a mega bronzer and it is in the shade Too Warm. Get an angled brush. I live by this, it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. I know people stay away from waterproof mascara because it's hard to take off, but I just use the Nivea makeup remover. I'll put it on the screen. It's really cheap. Just for that extra glow, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wand. All the writing has fallen off this. I think it's in the shade Gold Gasm. So I tap a tiny bit onto my cheekbone, my eyebrows, and then the tip of my nose. It's a highlighter brush to just blend it out. <laughs> and then I just put my lip stuff on. NYX liner in Urban Cafe and then the Velvet Teddy lipstick from MAC and then on top if I want some gloss um, I'll use the Madeline NYX lip gloss. That is the overall little glowy makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna go get ready now because shovel's already ready and yeah let's go on with the rest of the vlog. I'm so excited. I'll show you my outfit when I have it on and I don't think I'm gonna do my hair yet um i'm because i'm gonna curl it when i get to cardiff so i forgot setting spray i use the nyx dewy finish setting spray this is important we're all ready now we're gonna go down have some coffee and then we're gonna call an uber uh to take us to the train station normally we take the tram but we've got fat suitcases with us and i'll show you that so this is shuffle suitcase and then this one's mine Obviously, we're just going for a night, but we've got all our wedding stuff in there, so yeah. <laughs> this is my outfit. Pretty casual. Ignore my hair right now. 
it's not done but i've got these gold hoops on from they're from asos this leather shirt from rebellious fashion this tops from asos and then i've got these jeans that i literally live and die in the the stradivarius ones from asos i'll link them down below uh but i just really like that detailing how it kind of folds over and then obviously it's all the way to the ground i don't remember them being this long like i never remember them dragging this much uh, so hopefully they don't get muddy or anything. But yeah, I just put a little like light makeup on just because I knew I'd be vlogging and I didn't really want to feel gross. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Shafa to put her shoes on and then she can be in the vlog. We are in the Uber and I've got a hat on. I don't know how I feel about it, but I feel like it looks weird on camera, but it looks okay in real life. We've got our little tote bags. So we're, we're tote bagging it to this trip. So, Badge will give you an OTTD. You haven't been in it yet. Oh, I'll give you an OTTD. Yeah, she said she'll give you an OTTD at the train station. So, yeah. Uh, we're just getting a meal deal from WH Smith. We're at the train station now. Please insert or scan your advantage card. Nero, just getting <laughs> some coffee but I'm trying their new Guatemalan coffee so I'm excited so we're on the train um, it's already packed so I don't really want to talk but yeah I just here I don't think you've even been in it yet we'll do it when we get there we'll do it when we get there yeah. what book are you reading? I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo <laughs> You haven't started I've not yet, started it now. It's really good. Uh, I'm using, I'm still reading this, guys. Uh, I think I mentioned this, but it's enemies to lovers. And now they're in love and it got really boring. So I'm like halfway through. But I'm just gonna power through it and finish it. But the train is a moving. So excited. So Shafa got a tea cake and she's buttering it. Another butter the back there though. Getting into the flow of reading. Oh, sorry. And then Baj was like, Film me boring my DK. I'm sorry. I tried to be really like cool, but. No, no, no. This is tricky. so cool. Can I have a bite of it? Yeah, of course you can. Thank I'm you. I'm not gonna pay. You can have half of it. No, no, no. It's, it just looks really nice. You know what? I'm just gonna put this whole. Yeah, do it because you don't. Like, no, because you don't want it to be just out yeah. there. Okay. I'm gonna put some um, cute acoustic music. <laughs> Over here, peacefully listening to Taylor Swift, reading my book, and shuffles this into bong rock music. But she's getting in the wedding moods. Yeah. <laughs> so Cardiff is the next stop. Only finished this book. Still not finished. I'm really slow reader. Uh, we are due at Cardiff at 1:45. And I was just replying to DMs. I was just stuck these nails on and I'm obsessed with them. They're from Primark. They were like a pound. This is the scenery. So we made it. Oh, do you want to do OTTD? We made it. Is the line even nice? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we're good. I just checked in to the hotel. We're at the Jewelry's Inn in Cardiff Central. Ooh, floor three. Uh, excited. So, do you want to tell them what happened? So basically, right? Ooh, I'm so <laughs> gassed. Wait, wait, tell them here. So basically, check-in here is 4 p.m. Yeah. So I messaged them twice yesterday because we were arriving at 2. Yeah. I messaged them, I rang them and I was like, please, could we have an early check-in? He mm -hmm. was like, we'll put you on a priority list, make sure you, you're able to check in early. So then they let us check in, but they gave us like a room key and they somebody was already in the room. Like, yeah, we opened it. I went to the room and like, there were clothes everywhere. I was like, nope. And then we <laughs> sat down. Um, and on, yeah. we weren't even like rude about it. We were just like, oh, someone's in there. Like, we didn't seem yeah, annoyed or anything. Yeah, yeah. And, and she was like, like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. So sorry. And she was like, okay, we're going to upgrade you. We've got a luxury yeah. room. Yeah. And... Yeah, wait, Yay. let's give you a room tour. So here's the door. I love, I love room tours. So here's where you enter. This is what we grew up watching, room oh, tours. Okay, so if you... To your right. To your right. My bathroom. right, sorry, is the bathroom. 
gorgeous really neat and like everything's very clean um we're at the jaw reason by the way in cardiff central and then the bus here God. lovely bathroom we're only here for a night by the way Oops. this is our little dressing station and i'm so happy we have full length kind of yeah full length mirrors um oh my gosh look how snazzy that is this is really nice room this is oh, really nice yeah and like a dressing table oh, yeah. <laughs> oh i'll get ready there nice bed oh can't wait to sleep here we can't sit on this until like we're clean and like we're in our pjs cool we can, we can get a coffee in the morning with room service oh yeah let's open the curtains that's what i was gonna do before Let's see the views, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute here. What? Very nice. That's actually really sweet because we didn't even look mad or anything. She was just like, here's an upgrade. Very nice. So we're just roaming the street. We're just exploring, roaming before we got ready for the wedding. It's really cute. The badge wants to get some blue eyeshadow for her makeup look tonight. So we just found a super drug. We're on there like um, high street. It's really nice. It just looks really clean. I don't know if that's a weird comment to make. Oh, just looking for Shafar's blue eyeshadow. Walk down and there's literally a whole last castle here. When I asked on Instagram oh, what to do, everyone's like, go see the castle. And I was like, I don't think we can like venture out. Like we have enough time. And then the, here it is. I don't, wait, can you guys even see it? It would look nice at night, right? Such a vibe. Uh, oh my gosh, Baj, can you do your oh, oh, at the Christmas markets. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Hi. It's like a little picnic. Yeah, you and Faz. Oh, this one's cute. I like the background on this one. Yeah. Very cute. I love that. Look at that. It's a whole tea set. So Badge just got one of these for her kitchen. Very cute. Oh, let's have a look at that one. Yeah, these that ones are so, so pretty. Cute. Found some handmade candles and they smell so good. Got some lavender. Just got some roasted peanuts. Thank you very oh, that was Cheers. the chocolate smell. So a lot of you recommended to go here. So looks very nice. She's saying she wants to go to Mubu. What is it? Like bubble tea? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna get whatever you get. Badge is gonna get two Red Bulls from here. What? Badge is gonna do it from Yesco. Cheers! Yeah, guys, we hit the jackpot. So we're back in the hotel now. I don't know if I showed you the little setup we did, but I'm gonna get ready here. I've spread out all my makeup. Also, also put all my extensions here. Badge is gonna get ready over here. Into my pajamas, so my makeup off. We just have some background noise on the TV. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get ready. Shuffle just needs to iron her sari as well. Um, and then we got some Burger King to eat, and I'm gonna curl my hair. I'm gonna do my hair first. So I'm all ready now. I really thought I was gonna vlog doing my makeup, but I had nowhere to like stand the camera whilst I was doing my makeup. And I, honestly, I didn't really do anything too crazy. Uh, I do kind of like my hair though. I never spend time doing my hair and I'm always washing it like last second. So I'm glad I kind of got to do it. I put some Lullabelle's extensions in. These are the extensions I had when I had like blonde hair though, so they don't really match, but 
to night wedding so it's actually okay yeah i've got my black sari on got these little bangles on and these earrings i'll try to show you in the mirror properly this oh this is what we're working with the room's not even that messy to be honest considering we both got ready in okay maybe Okay, Zara, show us what you're wearing. This is my outfit. The sari's from Pakistan. Got it like two years ago. But it's really cute. So pretty. Do a spin. It looks so pretty in the light. Don't even worry, I took the extensions out. Okay, all the sequins. <sighs> Let's I love it. We and Badger matching. Wow. Zara. This is from Pakistan as well. It's so gorgeous. It's you really literally look a model. Black sequins. Do you want to talk us through? Oh, you do spin too. Um, it's really hard. I've not got my shoes on yet, so yeah. <laughs> I'm just really self-conscious. Oh, you see, oh, I, keep them I down. didn't. I think you can see mine because mine are blonde. We'll check each other's before you. Okay. No, 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 I can see yours is fine. Yeah, I've not got any jewelry. And look at her eye makeup. Oh my goodness. No, I'm so ill right now. My eyes are like red. Oh no, they're fine. It's all in your head. Oh. I don't know if we should take coats because it's freezing outside yeah but then why do you put a coat in a wedding exactly this doesn't make sense guys it is really we're gonna update you i hope you're enjoying this vlog so far guys oh my gosh what <laughs> it's literally blonde <laughs> you know what turn around i'm gonna i feel like you can't i can feel oh, it can you, <gasps> you can see that one should i take them out you can see one there. You know what, I might take them out. Okay guys, I took the extensions out and me and Shafa agreed that it looks a lot cleaner. I just kind of sweeped my hair to the side. Wait, are we sure it looks okay? I don't know. And the chandeliers are you know huge. what guys we're gonna try get shots for you we should compile a list of all wedding venues because we'd be really good at it <gasps> possible video idea well this is in cardiff we'll do it for manchester guys it's princess diana sid do you want to be my vlog so sid oh this is sid sid can you tell us the princess diana fact the princess diana fact yeah, You're she... obsessed with the i was obsessed with princess diana yes yeah, same okay go on <gasps> I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. Oh, I'll watch it though, still, because it's Princess Diana. But um, yeah, she did a speech. Oh wow! In here? It was it in this hall? Oh, I thought it was in this hall. Okay, can we show your outfit? Who? Oh, I actually, guys, I think this is the prettiest outfit I've ever seen. What are you wearing, Sid? In badge, you tell us. Okay. With the wow, seven. mashallah, it looks so. <laughs> you know what, Sid? Just give us a twirl. Um, wow. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Like, mashallah. <laughs> mashallah. So we're back from the wedding. What time is it? Uh, twenty to twelve nearly 12 i'm gonna take my makeup off we were gonna go out whoa what the hell we were gonna go out but <laughs> she decided she doesn't want to have fun what, you want to go out just two i'm joking audience. anyway wedding was great going to greg's this morning to pick up coffee hey guys a little breakfast greg's haul we were meant to go to what was it bill's yeah oh i think you're covering the microphone um, they have a Bills here, Shuffle's been in, was it in London? And she said it was really nice, so we're gonna go there to eat breakfast. Can I say it? Yeah. Yeah, but Bad is feeling a bit under the weather. So this is, there's a Greg's right opposite us, and we both love Greg's, so we were like, let's get breakfast from there. So I got two omelette and egg baguettes with ketchup. You like ketchup, right? Uh, they're nice and warm. Two waters. 
Um, one pan of chocolate because it's a bit big and we can share it. And it's nice and warm as well. Ah, and then orange juice. We need orange juice. It's really good for you. Um, and then two grapes. That is a great breakfast. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And we're going to just right. sit and eat it. Or do you want to get ready and eat it? Or, are you going to get ready? Or you I gonna... might. Yeah, like I'll just sort my hair out. <laughs> Thanks, Zara. <laughs> You're the best. Hi guys, so we are ready to leave the hotel. Um, we're dressed really casual today. I'm just wearing this shirling jacket that I got from Miss Selfridge. This bodysuit I got from Misguided years ago. It's like this um, camel bodysuit. And then these jeans, same jeans as yesterday, same trainers. And then I have this huge blue scarf. Um, I'm gonna put it on, but it's, it's honestly really warm outside, so I probably won't even need it. Uh, Shopper, do you want to do O2 TD TD? You look really cool. So, where's the coat from? Coat is Topshop. Yeah. And then my pants are Zara. I need these. They're really nice, really like, like them. Gray color. Yeah. I really like it. And then the knit is from ASOS. Sorry, you have it too. Yeah, I have it in black. I have it in black as well. It's really good. It's yeah. so, such a oh. good layering. And then, do you want to show your bag? And then, my bag. She's got her ads in there now. I didn't know this existed I really till like... into tote bags. Yeah. And then it's, I've been following Adam all of ages and then they recently launched in Selfridges. So I just Ooh. picked this one up. Nice. And then my trainers are Vehas, Vegas, <laughs> I don't know. And then she's got some Red Bull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. let's go. We're gonna go, we saw this really cool TK Maxx. Um so we're gonna go there. We were gonna people told us to go to the Cardiff Bay. But I don't think it's very us, like I don't think, I don't know, it's not us, We'd, we're, we're like city girls, we like to stay where the shops are, so we're going to go to TK Maxx, um, and then yeah, I think maybe we'll look at Winter Wonderland, but yeah, we're going to check out of the hotel now, but they said we can leave our bags in the lobby, so we're going to do that, in reception, I don't know what you call it. So we're in this gorgeous lodge, and I just got a bubble bar, which I'll show you guys when I get home, I'm going to have to take this on the train, so... Is that fine? Okay, fine. This lush is huge. <laughs> I think we just found the coziest water stones to exist. Oh my goodness. Hey guys. So we just had a really cute chill day. The lighting is horrible. Like I said, Chef wasn't feeling well, so we just took it really slow. Um, we're back in the hotel reception and we just collected our suitcases and we are gonna go to the train station because it's a three hour journey back. So we wanted to leave whilst it was still light outside. And then Chef has work tomorrow. Cardiff was so fun. I want to show you the, um, the waiting area because it's really beautiful. So cozy. Really nice hotel, really recommend it. Nice. 